All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 Northern Lords Royal Court DLC, Part 105. And it is time to dominate, conquer more of the world. Looking forward to it. There's not much left. We have some bits and pieces over here, obviously, but mainly this is it. And I was looking at our options before we hopped back in here. Um, yep. And we had a good option right up here, actually. I mean, Yugra is a little awkward because we're not able to do all of it, really. But we don't have... We haven't used our Invasion War yet. You know what I mean? So, uh, that's an available option here. And we might end up using it here. And we've got, like, six one-county entities over here that are just ripe for the taking. As well as this, but unfortunately that is a that is split up between two different duchies. So we'd have to do a kingdom war, and I don't know if we want to spend it on that. That sounds expensive to just take two counties, you know what I mean? So, probably not that one. But, work our way up there. And I was thinking of taking this as well, but again, it would have to be an invade kingdom. So that's a shame. But, I think that's our play. And then I want to start making our way through India here. Because actually we have a lot of kingdom level areas that are ripe for the taking as well. Yeah. Alright. So let's go ahead and take this. Set ourselves up to dominate. Gotta wait a couple months first. Let that play out for a bit. It's 1195 AD. Only five years till 1200 AD. And if there's no Mongolian Empire by 1200 AD, I'm not sure what we did wrong. Or if I just have my years completely wrong. I'm ready. I'm ready for the Mongolian Empire to be like, Alright, listen. <laughs> this is your end game. This is your true opponent. Oh, Ransom's coming through. Okay. 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 Yeah, of course. Go for it. Go for it. I think it's been two months, huh? No? Probably not, actually. Oh my god. It's just non-stop. Oh my god. Oh, non-stop. Information brokering. I expect Queen Gunhilder would be keenly interested in the information I've acquired, indicating her grandson, Argamir, is sleeping with Princess Astreeter. Ooh, we get... Oh, oh, a secret for a secret is a fair trade. 89%. Very good. And 300 intrigue experience. We like that. Smallpox outbreak was dealt with, I'm assuming. Is good. Well, well, I guess it might not have been dealt with. Maybe there's an, like, maybe it's spread. That would be really bad. Attempt suicide. We're 59 in excellent health. What are you talking about? Commit suicide. She agreed to my offer. If I keep snooping around, I may be able to arrange more deals like this in the future. There's much potential here. Beautiful. Okay, 19 more days. Oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my god, stop, stop, this is too much. Oh no, it is outbreaking. Oh no, it's being out, there's an outbreak in the prisons, I bet. Ooh, and we have a lot of people in those prisons. That's tough. That's tough for them. Sorry to hear that, guys. Okay, let's conquer counties. Counties to take. Gonna have to do duchy level for a couple of these because they're too far away. And then invade kingdom on Yugra. And that's our kingdom level evasion for when holy wars don't work. I think that's worth it. It it that's a lot of county. Gets us up here, up against Sabir. I think that's good. We'll do it. Committed. We committed. Conquer our duchy there as well. Raise all men at arms, and then let's raise a holy order to go take on the one that's way off to the side here. And uh, there we go, perfect. Estonia can go lead that one. Oh boy, oh boy. Smallpox everywhere. Claim the throne scheme has happened, huh? Where is that at? Claim the throne of you 90%? 
It allows a character to gain a claim against their direct liege's primary title. Whoa. And it's at 90%. I mean, they'd still have to win a war, I guess, but it would give them the right to claim it. I notice my poet pacing up and down my throne room. He's been yelling at anyone who crosses the line he treads. We've seen this one before. Um, who's your favorite hero? Myself, of course. Caligula. <laughs> Let's go with us. <clears throat> who's out to make an enemy of me? King Bias? He's a Satcher, isn't he? He's a Shari. Oh, I see. There we are. And then I demand a conversion at 71%. Let's do that, please. Okay, you two. Who am I swaying at the moment? Oh, I was swaying him. You, uh, my bad. I haven't played in like 24 hours and I'm already forgetting stuff. Sway her. Okay, anybody else? Doesn't look like it so far. Okay. King Ethelried of Italy. Are you a Satru? You're old a Satru. We can fix that. Italy. Come on, a Satru. 67%. I wish it was higher than that. And then Sind. Okay, there's one right at the very bottom we need to watch out for. What are you all trying to ransom your way out now that there's smallpox in the prison? Is it scaring you? <laughs> the blessed be Odin. Yes, Italy went at 67%. We dig that. Someone's plotting against Corpon. Yes, and the 70 something went to Asatru. That's what we're talking about. Blessed be Odin. There goes the Independence Faction. More prisoners getting smallpox. That sucks. It's becoming a bit of a death trap in there, isn't it? I almost want to keep them instead of ransoming them off, because then smallpox is going to spread everywhere, huh? But we are a dread ruler, so... I guess we don't care about their problems, do we? Okay, now we can torture and execute without losing piety or clergy opinion. Beautiful. Next time I want to torture someone, I just can. It's been exposed. Oh no! The horror. Why are we? Why were we murdering her again? Oh, that's right. We wanted to uh, give King Spine a better wife. Is that what the deal was? <laughs> I think that was. I think that was the whole deal. Oh my God! We are evil. 31 to 844, very good. The Duchy of Mercurius went over. Still just prisoner stuff. Duchy of Mercuria, where is that? <clears throat> okay, we took a county over there. Very good. Lover stuff. Now everyone knows. Idiots. Always something happening. A little too much, actually, at this point. I'm pausing, but it's going slow. There it is. Okay. So that's a trebuchet group. Here, that can be a trebuchet group. This needs to be two different trebuchet groups. You guys can be a group, and then this can go here. And there we go. We have our three groups. Oh, boy. That's my guess. Not even a prisoner. That's not good. That's not good. That's really not good. Oh, my God. It's everywhere. Troublemaker. I'll compensate you. It was covered in excrement. Ugh. Gross. How much do you like us? Can we get away with that? Oh, yeah. Plus 440. That's just something you pay at this point. Um, okay. Hold the hell up. Do I just execute everybody with smallpox? 
Like what? I feel like that would make a lot of enemies. Alright, hold up. Oh no. Ugh. That is disgusting. Uh, from now on, every prisoner that gets it, I'm just going to execute for the sake of the realm. Now that we can without losing piety. Yeah, that's fine. We're Dread Ruler now. I don't even think we care. Drake the second died of old age, did he? 76 years of age. That's fair. A new marshal then. King Alvidus of Persia. Hell yeah. That's perfect. And then we need more Masters of the Horse and the Hunt and all that, and I think Alvidus would fit that well, wouldn't he? New Court Tutor? Why do we not have one of these? We need to have one of those ASAP. Uh, Skewel of Zira, I guess, is really good at it. Sure. Oh, he's got an Overseer, plus 10 bonus. Gotcha. Court Jester. We don't have a Jester right now. We need to fix that. Oh, my, my bastard son? With lever's box? Let's go, Sophia. Mm. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> I think we're set. Some under my guest. Guys, gotta stop doing that. Better not infest my guests. Court event available. Why would you honor that Coscombo field there with a po position at court? Oh, come off it. Yeah. Another one of those. Nothing that actually matters. Hold up. Good sway. I guess. Can I? Leave. You're going to get people that matter infested. My courier. Oh. Dismiss. Goodbye. Farewell. We need to cut this down. Smallpox is absolutely raging through our unvaccinated ranks. Hey, new agent, nice. Didn't even have to ask. I don't understand why this guy's ever a leader, but whatever. Uh, there. I guess that works. Freeba has died in my dungeons. Hate to see it. Okay. That's a prisoner. Execute. There, that smallpox is dealt with. And here's more smallpox. Ransom? Just send her away? <laughs> yeah, that works too, actually. You don't need to execute her if you just send her away. Make it someone else's problem. Post a grand right. Hell yeah. 28, 16, 20. Oh god, she has small box. <laughs> oh no. Go away. Against my guest Signy. She's gonna die on her own. And he won't convert because he's, ze he's zealous. I'll try, but I don't think it's gonna work. Oh, so close, so close. Fine, that's a shame. All right, let's host the grand right. Foki of York. Uh, wow, what a mixed bag that is. He's also possessed. <laughs> no, that's all right. Thank you, though. Farewell. Alright, this time let's not mess up the 96%, huh? There we go. Art of Commerce. I guess. I mean, there's nothing else to do with that. Because we already... We didn't have any stress built up. My Domain. War Profiteer. We don't need those things. Building could work. Ooh, development and growth and capital. Hell yeah. Let's work on that.
Until next time, may she watch over us. My man Wobbery's due for his final trait. Look at this absolute chat he's turning into. My guest, go away. My cupbearer. No! Oh, smallpox is going to take him out, isn't it? I just miss you. What is both fielder? My court tutor? It is what it is. We need to fit some more court positions now. Court physician. Synegith is average. That's just lover's box, right? Not small box. Good. Court tutor. Bjorg is excellent. Synegith can be our court tutor and our court physician. Perfect. High almoner. Hoarder. Nice. An 18 year old is a perfect person for a court physician. Cupbearer. Slavko. Our only excellent option. Okay. Sorry, everybody, but we needed him to go. Go away. <clears throat> Dude, this smallpox is crazy. My guest? Can you stop? My guests, I can't stop. I can't force them to leave, so they just stay there. Only a matter of time before we end up with smallpox at this rate. Another. Oh, my courtier. Portis? I don't use you for anything. Dismissed. Get out of here. Dreadlord time. We don't care about your well being. As long as we're good, then that's all we care about. A toast to her health. Drink of life. Queen Ethelid is dead, killed by a deep drought of spiced wine. My agent slipped the poison into her goblet and watched it dissolve without a trace. Only when her throat swelled shut did she realize something was wrong, but by then it was far too late. Fortunately, my agent slipped out well before the effects of the poison revealed that something was afoot. Well, 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 let's just arrange a marriage for you, huh? No way, you're not gonna let me choose you, of all people? Oh, that defeated the whole purpose. Well, at least maybe he can do better than what he did last time. Against Signy? Oh, she got over her smallpox. This must be a different Signy. Hold a Sancho? Yeah, throw him in jail. Let's... He's zealous too, man. Why are they all ze... That's crazy. They're all zealous. They're always zealous. We cook. Next time I arrest you... I'll combine the weak hook with the demand conversion, and then we'll say yes. That's the plan here. Alright, that war is over. On to the next. Um, my guest. Nothing I can do about that. 346 to 2199. Wow, they put up kind of a fight there. Oh, that was the Holy Order. Got it. Down that I haven't been watching. Queen Gun Healder is scheming against me. An agent in the claim throne against me. Really? Really? Throw her in jail for a bit. Oh my god, there's so much happening that <laughs> that my computer is actually stuttering. It's like, <laughs> oh god. It's gonna be a two year siege? Yikes. Oh, that was a smallpox I should have checked. Shoot. Alright, it's another war. Very good. You know, I think I'm gonna go back to the single stack. Mm, no. No, let's not do that. These tiles can't support that. Just not enough supply limit on these tiles. 28, 24, 25. Okay. In the name of the divine, Wabri's final trait, huh? 
Following the death sentence of a lowly thief, I asked my half-brother Wabri what he thought. He expressed doubts about whether any god could want a realm to be ruled by such a harsh law. Do not expect to see Odin's justice. We can make him cynical, which would make him better at intrigue and learning at the cost of piety. Must be taught the proper execution of the law. We can make him just, but that's a huge pain to have to deal with. Moderation all things. Temperate is good for everybody. Small boost and two stewardship. Hmm. Temperate or cynical? Trust the self-interest of others above all else. Would make him better at intrigue and learning. And monthly piety going down 20% is not the end of the world. Hmm. Whereas temperate is also very good. Has no drawbacks whatsoever, except for gluttonous characters not liking you as much. And you get two stewardship and a small health boost. Do we want it to be diligent, content, and temperate? Or diligent, content, and cynical? I kind of like the combination of diligent, content, and temperate. That just makes him a really good dude all around. Let's do that. And there you go. He's a content planner. That's his personality. I've got high hopes for Wobbery. King Ingemar created the cadet branch Ravenheart Fasher. Is this claimed throne thing still working? 89%. Come on now. We need to discover more about it. Nice. Court physician got better. I guess she's doing smallpox stuff. Yeah, this is done in two days. The movement to places is taking longer than anything else. Alright. That's a war. Can we ransom you, I guess? And then we'll end it. Rust 2. Yeah, that dagger goes. Though that is a pretty impressive dagger, I won't lie. Kumion sword? Nope. A claim on Kutal. Someone made a claim on something, does he? Just a single county, so I'm not even worried about it. But it's not a county I recognized. Those problems are kind of beneath our emperor. Our filth here. Nice. I haven't seen, uh... I haven't seen another smallpox outbreak recently. I like to see that. The Loathsome Fiend. Dude, there's 10,000 here waiting on a battle. We're sending 5823. But we we all know our ours are higher quality. That's just a fact. And if they agree to fight us on open plains, oh my god. That seems really good. Who's to say they're defending? Why aren't we defending? I think we have this. I'm not I'm not worried at all. How many champions do we put have put together? Eleven? Okay. It's a shame that fourteen champions are over here. But it is what it is. Yeah, I think we're defending, aren't we? Yeah, we're defending in the taiga. Yeah. Ooh, he... Okay. Got it. Uh, damn. See if Ascalon now belongs to you. I'll sway you instead, then. Yeah, with us defending in the Taiga, it's a different... different situation. Logodoro's Lament. We need those resources for the troops. If one small village in Logodoro has to starve, the heated argument between my counselors follows me out of the room and King Leoder, the representative from Logodoro, greets me with tired eyes as I approach. This decree will force you to leave, force them to leave you alone. Development growth plus 10%? What is one village in the grand scheme of things? No. Yeah, I'll take the 12 stress to make sure we're getting encouraged improvements, please. Oh, here we go. Plus 24 advantage. They're doomed. Here we go. Queen Hirigath already killed Suthoi El Barili on the first day of battle. 
Wipe him out. King Orm killed Koksha. Didn't even make it to late phase. They got slaughtered. 176 to 10,407. No chance. The game just doesn't know how to account for our champion power when it tries to like analyze how strong the armies are. It doesn't take it into account. That's the only explanation. Hey, we're a saint. We're a religious icon again. Nice. Okay, you guys go ahead and go here. You guys go ahead and go... Oh, here, I guess, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Let's do that. Seven to six. This is still happening. About 16 months left on that. Show her in, yeah. Queen Arden's feudal tax you are increased. Whoa. That's big. Any idea what you just said? No, I'm not going to do that to her. Actually, I will because uh, I'm Phil Kirsif the Impaler. Oh, this feels so bad as me. Like me, I would never do this, but that's what Sif would do. You have any idea what you just said? You know, you just agreed to pay me more taxes, and now I, I, <laughs> all over you. Oh my God, hundred renounce you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's so tough. Sif is a terrible person. You know what? Let's torture him for fun. Yeah. That's something we do. Why complicate matters? There's something like the good old rack. The sound when bones and sinews snap is quite unforgettable, but not as unforgettable as the pain Chieftain Yazi is soon to experience. Oh my good god. Yeah, that's tough, bro. That's tough. And then I make you pay before I end the war against you. <sighs> Whoo, boy. At least he's still in good health. Good for him. <clears throat> Yo, we are... We are full-blown evil at this point. Nutter returns, whatever that means. King Bercy and Ilva Stowell are now married, okay. 45 to 986. <laughs> nice! Oh, wow. The outbreak of smallpox, which has ravaged my court, is finally over. Its victims have all either recovered or departed from this world. My niece, Sinagith, assures me that all bodies have been properly disposed of and that the threat is completely gone. Six died, 13 survived. Okay. That's, that's actually, for how densely populated our prisons are, that could have gone so much worse. So, we're here for it. That could have gone so much worse. They need a logistician. They're going to be here for a while. There you go. Good. They won't start starving till next year. That's what we that's kind of what we needed. Simigith got even better at physician. Wow. Let's go. The squeamish fiend. Torture. Had to be done. <laughs> Did it have to be done? Really? Did it have to be? I don't know about that. Oh boy, we are we are something, aren't we? We're starting to run low on supplies. We're just going to have to take some travel penalty. Force advance, so be it. This one county is going to take this holy order longer than it takes us to do all this. No mangonels. Hold court. Okay, let's see what we got. Wolfwind approaches my throne with a smirk on her face and bows deeply. Greetings, your majesty. During my recent trip to the county of Wadi Amur, I learned some fascinating tidbits about several of Count Ayankuda's subjects. Hmm. Nobody extorts me in front of my own court. Guards seize her. Size her. Okay. 
What's our dread at? It's already at 99. Sure. The air is thick with anticipation as my vassal Pagan Elfman approaches me. My lady, I come with grave news, but with a solution to fix this problem. It's become increasingly... Okay, yeah, yeah. We'll do a small one. A peasant steps forward carrying a petition. My liege, I come to you as a representative of the Sudrier Manic from the borough of Hromsa. Love Hromsa. Our plea to see an important monument of our culture restored was ignored by the Reeve. She's actively hindering us from rebuilding. Cultural acceptance between the Sudriar Manic and the Manic increased by 10%. Mm. This please peasant for five years. I like Rob, so we'll make them happy. Speaking of, though, how is the uh, promoting culture going? 17 months left before this is Manic again? Okay. And of course, oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Alright, back to this. Copeflaith can marry. Alright, Copeflaith. You're forgiving, but that's one of the sinful traits that we can kind of ignore, you know? No lover's box, so I'm not giving you to the king with lover's box. He's also 73, so you know, maybe we don't do that for that reason too. These are good choices right here. And they're outside the dynasty, looks like. So that means we can bring more good traits into the dynasty. Let's do that. Two new Varangians. Sway the good mare. The good mare without a doubt. But of course. Copeleth and my son Anak will be joined in holy matrimony. Excellent. Alright, we have some lands to give away. Um, this is the kingdom of... Permia. Who owns Permia? King Helgi of Permia. Um, oh, he actually doesn't have claim on any of these. Never mind, just kidding. Uh, Bashkiria, though, does have claim on one of these. Yeah, this one. I grant you this county that belongs to you. That's all you get, because that's all that belongs to you. Now, Yugra... What does is, what is Permia own? What does this guy own? Oh god, he owns a lot. Like, a lot of Bulgaria, even. Oh, he owns both Bulgaria and Permia. Well, that would be why. Okay. Um, we don't have a Cumanian king either, do we? No, we don't. Time to put a new Ravenheart king down. In this tribal area here. Who's deserving, though? Hasting? It's a box. Consider a master. Uh, I can get behind that. There you are. Good, they're both, they were both unlanded. That's, that's what I was worried about. Wait a second, did I just land someone who was landed already? No, we're good. There we go. We're up to 12% now because we actually did something. We were starting to lose percentage because it had been so long. Mercenary comp contract expire and go for it. Don't care one bit. Another betrothal fulfilled. So things are going pretty well. 128 to 876, sure. Scheming against me. Really now? And throw her on the claim throne thing. Gotcha. Ah, ha, ha. Throw her in jail. Now it's down to 11% without her. Yeah. Nice. So that person we just grabbed. Um, shoot. Let's go to our prison. Queen Marwa, I demand your conversion. Oh my god, they're always zealous, aren't they? Always. Always zealous. Well, now you're staying there. And now the claim to throne scheme is at 11%. Good luck. That's a quick battle there. 9 to 1300. Yeah. <laughs> 9 to 1300. That's, those numbers are nuts. 
Those numbers are insane. That'd be a nice take right here. The Loathsome Fiend. We are over 1,800 counties. Claim on the throne has been abandoned. Good. Stop the little behind this. Alright, so this prisoner here, we can now let her go for a weak hook. And maybe that'll help us convert her later. Down the line. More cheating. Always. Always with the cheat. Also... 17 and 47. She looked older in 47, sorry. Never mind. That's not super gross. Still kind of gross. I thought we were talking 17 and like 67. Uh, stop the villain behind this. Sure. Nobody's going to be claiming this throne from Sith. No chance. No chance. Returning from the Varangian Guard, Sophia. Okay, sure. Welcome home, Sophia. Sixty-one, and we're still in excellent health. That's crazy. He's in good health at thirty-eight. That is crazy. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if we outlive all of our direct kids. Queen Marma created the Independence Faction. That's fair, considering how much she doesn't like us. The Brash Fiend. Going after Arngrimmar, are you? Hmm. Okay, this war should be ending up soon. It's almost 1197. I'm on the edge of my seat waiting for this Mongolian Empire to take hold. My vassal King Bias approaches with a beautiful black dog. Before either of us can react, react, hold fast, and the other dog take off. I'm sure, they'll be fine. I'm sure, they'll be fine. Go hit the capital. Let's end this thing soon. My vassal king BS and I find the two dogs after a while in the middle of some rigorous copulating. Well, Phil Kirsif, I guess we'll be related soon. <laughs> okay, she's expecting puppies. Okay. Sure. I guess that does happen. Fun fact. There you have it. Ten more months on that one. Yeah, we're going to finish this war before then. Someone's going after Leek, huh? I like Leek a lot. Don't do that to her. She's a beast. 36 prowess, not messing around. Neighbor's war resolved. Your neighbor Khan Vyadi won against for the Duchy of Cha? Okay, interesting. Mayor Tamer was swayed. Working on that. Definitely working on that. Oh. You can go and uh, also help at the capital. Speed this up. Because I think that's going to be the one that finishes it. To be honest. Going after Neuter. Everybody's going after everybody. Nobody's just happy to be. Yep, mercenary company is goodbye. Hold, fa hold fast has given birth to an adorable puppy. One, I doubt that. As much as I adore it and its tiny wagging tail, I cannot take care of it as well. Who deserves a puppy? Kagan Katil, pretty deserving. Not King Stenar. Nope. Nope. Definitely King Katil. Give it to Katil. There you are. All right. Have we nothing more important to attend to? Yeah, because we're a cheater, so we don't mind the cheating apparently. I'm going to have to get used to that. I've got to get in the headspace of Sith where cheating is okay. Gross. 88 to 625. Oh, God. Starving, starving, starving. Stop. Ooh, that's almost worth saving. See ya. Alright, it's going to be nine months before we can summon them back because of that, but I think that's worth it. Starving is bad. Lost for words. Elfwin, Swayed. Alright, how Swayed can you be if I pay you? Almost. How's that looking? 77? We'll let one more Sway go by and then 
then we'll convert her, and we can start working on somebody else. We might have to take Sosa, but I don't think so. Someone else against Leak too. Leak, what did you do? I guess at eleven others. Whoa. There it is. So be it. All right, King Prince Hastine. Oh, that's that's an empire. Yugra, can't usurp it, huh? That sucks. We'll have to do it later. But for now, you get all of this. Aren't you? Don't you love it? I'll have to make you a duchy as well. So that you can be a duke. There you go, Conda. Usurp that. And give it to you. Grant title. Where is it at? Not Sardinia, not man. Oh, there it is, Yaldum of Conda. There you go. There, now you're a Jarl, and that'll help a lot more. Uh, hold up real quick. All right, welcome back. Sorry about that, someone called about uh, food for the day and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, all right, so back to this. Uh, we do have... <laughs> We do have one more war I guess we can run over to. Maybe we get there fast enough that we can actually speed up the siege. That's which would be really funny. Let's give it a shot, I guess. We're not going to be able to declare another war until about 1198 anyway because of that nine month delay on the other army. All these factions. Do you see how much is happening in this game all the time? At the beginning of the game, there was like, there was time between events. Now. No, there's always stuff happening. Always something happening. Damn, they're starving. That's not good. I mean, it's a holy order, not our people, but that's still not good. Yikes. Hey! Get wrecked, dude. Um, Just, Gluttonous, and Callous. Sure, we'll call her for Relentless Courage. Worst case, she likes us five less, you know? Is what it is. We might both benefit from increased communication. Hey, nice. There you go. She dug it. She was a fan. Ooh, inspired person. Looks like a box. Hooled. Nearly decent. Nope. We'll pass. I was excited, but alas. Was not to be. The starving. The starving. Uh, a noble m woman from Germany has given birth to a son. Uh, she's part of the dynasty, so they want me to name him. Okay. Osric's not a bad name. I like Osric. Osric Leopold's son. I kind of want to just spend money trying to get the perks from hunting and feasting, those like Eager Reveler and uh, Huntsman perks, they're really good. All right, this is about to be, oh my God, my commander's not there. Whew, that was close. Albinus of Persia, lead them. Rude Vassal, tasted the belt, oh my. Look at that abhorrent coxcomb of Egfrida. Queen Marwa hisses from atop her hunting steed. My niece Queen Egfrida seems to have hard a, seems to have a hard time bearing the insults. There's no way for a queen to act. Mediator. Egfrida's gone red as a beet. And will be punished like one. Let's go with this. There's no way for a queen to act. That's just the better way to handle that situation. Minus 14 because they're starving. That's fair. Half sister Copeflaith gave birth to a daughter. Pyra, that's a good name. Stop the villain behind this. Liberty War. Oh well. Liberty War is just control over your counties that doesn't actually and I mean like, you know, like the control that determines how many how much golden levies you get, not actual. He still owns the same stuff. Sheikdom of Gabal. 
All right, good. We're spreading. Yeah, I think I think they'll spread through this stuff pretty well on their own. So I'll leave that for a bit, but maybe one day we'll help them out with it again. Damn, this is sar this is starving now too. This is tough. We need to finish the siege ASAP. Ah, whatever you guys have done. Blathering fiend. This was tough. This one county, this one side county ended up taking so long because we didn't have any siege engines. So be it. Spand all. Yep, that took a while. Fair enough though, I guess. Three months until we can deploy again. That's fine. Holy order dismissed. Yes, Wabri deserves to know her power. Absolutely. Look how this man is turning out so far. We love it. Ransom, ransom. I think our next target is going to be uh, Utpalapid. Utpalapid, or whatever you want to call that. It's missing a couple counties, like south, if we attack the kingdom. It's actually missing like four. Damn, that's tough. But I mean, the vast majority of the counties we would still grab. It even goes too far north. Whoa. Do we take these counties instead, maybe? No, they're too far away. No, we are bordering those. We could just do that. Hmm. You also grab all of Kotan, even though it's pretty spread out. Interesting. Yeah, there's a few options here, and none of them are like the obvious correct answer. Could take Taloon. Another, another side branch. Okay, another branch family. Okay, what does this go to? What kingdom? Cumania. Yikes. Uh, I don't have a, I don't have a clean hold for that. Argamer, I don't have huge hopes for. Bastard founder. But I. But he's fine, so I'll give him something at least. There you go. Kimek is a single duchy almost. Not quite, never mind. Etiel is a single duchy we can take. Ah, man, this is kind of ugly. We could take a bunch of garbage over here. Lifestyle perk. Thriving in chaos, sure. I don't think we'll ever get that, but, you know, it's there. Yeah, this is tough, actually. I'm not sure what to take next. None of it's super clean to take. Hmm. Scheme at court, going for Bjorn Reed. I think it's time that we could declare a war again, or at least very close. <sighs> this place is kind of massive. Maybe I'll let that sit for a bit. Hard to say. Hard to say. Our fervor is probably way too low for a great holy war. It's a it's actually at zero. Our fervor is actually at zero. That's tough. Definitely slows down our conversion speed, doesn't it? <laughs> By a good bit. Okay. Man, that is, that is an ugly sequence of places for us to take. And it's got me stimmied. But we need to make a decision, so... Let's just go for... 
saloon. We could conquer a, that duchy right there. That's kind of off to the side for now and see if things clean up a little bit. We'll probably have to take it at some point anyway. 19 more days, okay. And we'll want a little more space when we gather. Alright. Mayor Swade, Pagan Elfin Swade. Now we can demand conversion, 81%. I'm hoping that pays off. Yes. The man is now manic again. That's what we love to see. Alright, we can stop persuading you. Move on to someone new. Like Queen Marwa. Who is going to be really tough to sway. But we're going to try. She's not zealous, is she? She is zealous. Never mind. Not even going to bother. Actually, we have a weak hook on her, don't we? Maybe with the weak hook, we could make the difference. If there's no one better to sway, obviously. And I don't think there is. No, there isn't. So I guess we'll give it a shot just because. Alright, here we go. Nothing better to spend our sway on, so... <laughs> we could take Kimmick, I guess. It would take a kingdom level war, but we've got the piety. But we could subjugate him? He's a Satcharu. <gasps> oh, we are, we're not going to get another chance like this. I think this subjugation is the right play. There's not really a lot of Asatru places that we don't have control over. And I don't want to spend it on that. That's, uh, that actually helped clean this up so much. Yes. Yes. Subjugate Khan Yavdi. For, uh, that's a single county. Seven counties. But clearing up a lot of space here. That's nice. I like that a lot. Alright. We will subjugate. And Taloon, we will take your duchy. Thank you very much. He was a Satcher as well. Well, I won't lie, that's surprising. And now I've made a mistake. But, holy my god, I made a mistake. Ha! <laughs> Kill me now! Are you kidding me? Alright, well, there are worse terrible mistakes to make, but... Holy... Okay. <laughs> Alright. My bad. That's entirely my fault. My bad. It is what it is. Hello? I was gonna say, that's not how long it should take. That didn't add up at all. Eight months. What do you mean? Blessed be Odin. Nice. Only two left to, to convince that Odin is the right way for them. Manic to Serbian, Queen Freitas, Croatia. Okay. Uh, now that I had that little pause in the middle of this playthrough, I'm not actually sure how long this episode has lasted, but I'll try to <laughs> I'll try to go by a rule of thumb, so to speak, by the by feel. Natural schemers, intrigue, lifestyle experience, and scheme secrecy. Bang. Two more, and we'll have family connections to prevent those murders. And this won't suck. Menial won't suck. Not that we need the money. Stop the villain behind this. There we go. That's a double trebuchet. We don't need that on one group. But let's go. You guys need a trebuchet, so we'll group that up. And then you guys can go this way over to Kimek. Beautiful. In fact, you can go all the way over there. And these guys can go here. And just join up there. Now we're talking. Savannah is under siege. Take this gold, make sure you're heard. Sway that up. We don't need gold, we need sway. A spineless fiend. You're plotting against my prisoner, huh? Good luck. 
I meet my vassal, King Katil, to see how little Gray is doing in this care. The little puppy! He's doing well. He likes to follow the horses around. Good. I'm glad everything's going good there. That's great. So many fiends. So little time. Turning the human body destroyed. This is going to be destroyed. That's destroyed. Holy Warrior doesn't help us here. So I'll lead it instead. Oh, we didn't do a feast. Hold up. Swap. And then we'll lead the army. Feast begins. Whoa, there. <laughs> we missed the siege spot. There we go. 1198 AD. 1200 AD. I still don't see any Mongolian Empire. I was 100 years too early, clearly, on expecting it to happen. Oh my god, always with this. Reeve Olvier. My patience wears thin. It's a vassal we should sway. Pin this guy. Make sure we don't forget about him. New Varangian, neighboring ruler lost war. The county of Taraka. Lost against my vassal, huh? Alright, good. We took another part of Songhai. She's a master physician now, isn't she? Yeah, renowned physician. Nice, Sinagith. Big. I can't believe we could have subjugated Taloon. I'm so stupid. What would life be without Hasty? A huge boost to health, because that's what we needed. <laughs> Mm, yeah. We were due for a heresy. Our, our, we're just so low. Come back, please. Our fervor is so low that heresies are just gonna happen. Welcome back. Blessed be Odin. Alright, this, this should be one group. Cheating all the time, non stop, everywhere. Stop it. Alright, you need to be re swayed. There we are. 100%. Until next time. Good. Oh my god, another one converted. The Valai of Sutkend. Went to somebody else. Blessed be Odin, good. A fourth, really? Of Mesopotamia. Convert, please. That's gonna give us like 60% fervor, right? Yeah! Four plus 15s, wow. That's a huge boost. <gasps> That's right! We're near the end of 1200 AD! We're getting innovations! We have Scudage! And then it decided to go for land grants in 14 years, and we're getting heraldry in about 20 months. It's time! The late medieval era! <laughs> so much is gonna happen soon. 1200 AD, it's coming. It's coming. Their banner just changed. Interesting. Acquaintances be dying. Too many vassals, huh? We have to do some vassal cleanup before the next episode. Dog's ears is quite a charmer, my lady. She's a good girl. These two wars are going to take a bit of time, I think. Probably. 272 additional taxes, sure. Why not? Alright, we also need to take Tulun. So I'll take this and then take the Chemic Capital down here. Chemic Capital down here. That'll be a good move, I think. Move him down here and then we'll start working on Tulun as well. Stop the villain and put me on this. Seek indulgence. The movement, the space to cover, like the, the amount of ground to cover makes movement take so long. <laughs> it's going to be the 13th century before this war is over, I'm pretty sure. 
Come on, Mongolians. I'm ready for it. I'm ready. Also, Sif, 62, still excellent health. Some people die of old age by 62, and she's like, nah, I am in my prime out here. I mean, I have half my prowess. I should have 100, and I have 50 instead, but still. 62 years old with 50 prowess. My goodness. That's nuts. That is nuts. One vassal above. That'll be easy to fix, more or less. Wabri is now a man. His understanding of philosophical and theoretical works is impressive, and he often engages in debate with his former teachers. Even at such a young age, he can be, hard, he can be heard quoting obscure passages to support new ideas and theories. Our man is a mastermind philosopher. That's what we love to see. He got 10 diplomacy, 6 martial, 6 stewardship, 7 intrigue, 7 learning, and 9 prowess. Hell yeah. That's a great lineup. Until we meet again. Look at this man. There's no <laughs> I don't even want to change anything other than give him a Nordic crown. Because right now he's the guy I want to try to push for the throne. After he's done doing his... Uh, What am I trying to think of? After he's done doing his Byzantine stuff, his Varangian stuff, uh, if I'm able to find it. I don't see it. Huh, interesting. We're not giving him up a Paul thing. Default. Alright, until we meet again. Can I send him on a Varangian? No, I can't. Alright, fine. Except he's not a child? Oh, have him educate a child. Gotcha. Arrange a marriage. Who would be great for him? Briska? She's ambitious so far. She's gonna be a learner. And she's got strong prowess. Decent skills. I could see this working, maybe. Risk of being inbred, though. Ah, damn. Cobeflaith is not a giant. I almost want to risk the inbreeding here. Just because Briska has such perfect stats. Um, let's, let's keep her pinned. No, she might get taken by someone else. Let's just do it. Send the proposal. Worst case, we'll break it. Briska and Wabri. Seven gold, sure. <laughs> Go for it. If it's faster, it's faster. Alright, now that Wabri's an adult, we can actually put him up for election. You're all done with man. Where's Wabri at on this? Not too high because he doesn't have a, a missus helping him out at the moment. There it is, Wabri. You're all done with Sardinia. Oh boy, finding him in this all the time is going to be hard. Let's go to learning. Here, hold up. Relevance, learning. Alright. I'm going to have to find Wabri on all these, so I'm going to do that in between episodes, and we're going to go ahead and call it here. Uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving a like, and if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this world domination, and we'll get right back to it. Next time.